to pay for operating costs. Hinton says the facility could be sold to another recycling operation, but the main goal is to get the most money for the property, building, and the contents. Traverse City restaurants are busy preparing for a big boost in business next week with the third annual Traverse City Restaurant Week kicking off on Sunday. 7 and 4's Megan Morelli is live in downtown Traverse City right now and has the latest on what's happening next week. Hi, Megan. Ariel, I'm currently downtown here in Traverse City on Front Street. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful start to the evening so far. And this is actually a spot where many of the 27 participating restaurants for the Yummy Week do business. Now, this isn't just great for the people to get out there and try different restaurants in the area. It's also great for the economy in Traverse City, too. For one week, guests are invited to try a three-course meal for $25 at any of the participating restaurants. Organizers tell 7 and 4 News that Traverse City has always been a foodie destination and that this event not only benefits the locals, it also helps to promote a large amount of culinary tourism while boosting business for the entire area. We're finally getting people that are coming up and making reservations here in Traverse City at the hotels for this event, too. So we think just really in the next few years it's going to grow and we're going to have a larger tourism base that's going to come up and enjoy this week as well. One of the restaurants participating, Stella's, tells 7 and 4 News that they expect a 50% increase in sales next week and are excited for the big event. Now, you don't need a ticket to get into any of the restaurants, but reservations are highly recommended. And in fact, many of the area restaurants are telling me that their reservation books are quickly filling up. Live in downtown Traverse City, I'm Megan Morelli, Sudden and 4 News. For a complete list of the 20